BMW's Vision iNext concept drew a lot of gasps, a lot of interest from journalists when it was unveiled here a few days ago. Obviously, BMW generates interest anyway. It is one of the world's largest, one of the world's most well-known car makers. Huge presence here in the United States, huge presence in China. There was a lot to talk about when I managed to get a few minutes of the CEO, Harold Kruger's time. We discussed everything from autonomous vehicles to electric vehicles to how his company is faring in light of the current trade tariff situation between the US and China. You talked about your commitment to the American market. Obviously, you have a big presence in China. How are you being hit by what's happening with the whole tariffs issue? I mean, our strategy is clear. Uh, we are investing in all three major regions. We are investing into the United States and building the products in the markets, like the new X7, which we believe the biggest market for the X7 is the US market. That's why we build it in Spartanburg. We are investing in Europe in capacity expansion, and we are investing in China for the local market. And with that balance, we are competing uh, quite good with that uh, challenging situation about the trade. Is there a chance we might see production of other models move to China if things get diff uh, they change? I mean, we have localized in China quite a number of models, but this was uh, in the past always like the X3, which we now build in South Africa and China, because we needed more capacity in Spartanburg also for the US market. So with the demand increasing on the X3, we could sell more cars X3 and build more cars in Spartanburg for the US market by having a second or third location because the demand overall was increasing. Is there a danger that there will be changes to the production line here though? I mean, Volvo, for example, have talked about how they're going to have to um, slow down production. Is that a danger that BMW may face? No, I mean, we will have a production record next year at Spartanburg, which shows that we are optimistic for the US market and for our new product momentum. What are the quarter four uh, results? I mean, how, how are the tariffs going to have affected those? The tariffs could affect, uh, in certain ways, uh, the profitability. If you export a car from one country to the other one with high import taxes, but on the overall global situation, you can balance certain things. It depends on how long are the tariffs, are they on staying on the long term or not. But with our balanced worldwide distribution of sales and production, we are in a pretty good shape. And we are the biggest net exporter in the United States. A lot of people look to the German car makers uh, for, as, as the classic examples of what to follow. You've been criticized, not you particularly, but the, the German car makers for not making a model that is as sexy as a Tesla. You're in California. Is this it? This is an absolutely sexy car, but I can tell you and promise you the i4 will be very sexy. There's more cars to come, the i next. Yeah, we will have a iX3. We will have a lot of sexy cars coming to the market. BMW is about motions, yeah, about premium. And I'm not worried at all. We will deliver sexy, emotional cars which drive perfect, which have the connectivity of the future, and we will be very, very competitive. How are you seeing the market for electric cars changing? I mean, how are you seeing the demand grow? Demand is definitely increasing and goes hand in hand with the infrastructure. But the overall situation in the world is different. So you will see a lot of electrification, electrification, electrified vehicles, for example, in California. It is in some other parts of the United States different. You will see a big market in China and you see some markets in Europe already taking up like Norway or like the Netherlands. All over the world, it's increasing and it's the future. What about autonomous vehicles? I mean, you talked earlier about how there is still a lot of regulatory hurdles to, to overcome. People are still skeptical in some ways. When do you think people will, when, when will that moment come where people think, it's fine, I'm going to be able to drive, I'm going to be able to, to use one? 2020 and beyond, because I mean, autonomous driving makes driving more safer. Yeah? The serious accidents are still 90% of the serious accidents caused by the driver. So if you can overcome this one, it makes driving more safe. And from 2020 beyond 21, 21, you will see autonomous vehicles coming on the roads. For sure, you need the regulation. For sure, you need all the data collection first. But it will make driving more safely and it will come. Will it make it more pleasurable though? Because there is something nice about just being in control of the car and not having someone else do it. For BMW, it's both. Yeah, you can drive the autonomous vehicle on your own if you would like to have the joy of driving, but also in a traffic jam, in a situation where you might be a little bit uh, sleepy or whatever, uh, you would like to relax, you would like to drive emission-free, you can have all your digital life in the car, 
and the car is driving for yourself. And that is also the part of the future because it is relaxing, it is emission free and it can be still fun to drive. And thank you very much. Thank you. So that was Harold Kruger there, the CEO of BMW. Obviously, he's very optimistic about his company, but you know, optimism is a feeling. It is a theme that you get here, and that is largely because of autonomous vehicles. He was just talking about them then, because you know, this is a technology that has been brewing for a number of years, but it's always felt far away, distant in the future. Only now are we getting the sense that a lot of the large companies are getting ready for prime time. And what is really exciting is there is not one single company here that dominates the space, this is a new world. This is a blank page and everybody here can have a part to play in it. Back to you.